Nobody on the panel, because I pay attention to this, have told me that I'm beautiful. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 unpopular eliminations on RuPaul's Drag Race. Katya, you may doubt yourself sometimes, but I have no doubt that you are a star. For this list, we're looking at contestants whose exits from one of the franchise's shows caused the most controversy and fan backlash, regardless if they would return for All Stars. If you aren't caught up on your Drag Race viewing, here is a spoiler alert. Which of these eliminations had you calling shade on Rue and the judges? Sound off in the comments. Number 20. Denali the figure skating sensation from season 13 often seemed stuck in the safe zone. You have been safe. I know. Fans could see her potential, but outside of one early triumph, Denali seemed to be constantly edged out by her competitors. Her personality and bond with fellow contestant Rosé only made viewers want her to stick around longer. But things came to a head in week 10 when she was sent home after losing a lip sync to Olivia Lux. Fans were not pleased, and some even tried to kick up a conspiracy around Olivia, though Denali quashed any talk of sabotage. The fact remains that folks were so disappointed to see her go so soon. A skater with a whole lot of class and a whole lot of ass. <laughs> <laughs> Number 19. Pandora Box the first season of All Stars was controversial for its introduction of the twist that saw the returning queens compete in pairs for the entire season. And if one of you fails, you both go home. Oh, oh God! What? Oh, my gosh. Many fans thought Pandora Box was the first of several undeserving victims of the format. She ended up teaming with Mimi I'm First, forming Team Mandora. And while Mimi struggled, it seemed Pandora was caught in the crossfire. I'm not feeling it. 101 Muppets had to die for these outfits. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> now, few are contending that Chad Michaels didn't slay in the lip sync against Mimi that sent Pandora home. But it's clear that the partner twist heavily affected Pandora's ability to show the judges her best drag on her own terms. And her prior elimination in season two made it all even harder to swallow. If I was by myself, I would have won. Number 18, Team Latrilla. Another casualty of the pair twist, fan favorites Latrice Royale and Manila Luzon, or Team Latrilla, were given the boot halfway through the season. My brainy and courageous queens, I think I'm gonna miss you the most. In any other All Stars edition, these two would practically be sure bets to make it far. But here, they placed in the bottom during the week three pranking challenge, and Manila went against Jujubee in the lip sync. <laughs> Although they were well-matched, Jujube prevailed, and Team Latrilla was sadly given the chop. But maybe they got the last laugh, because the pair went on to release a single appropriately titled The Chop. Number 17, Sugar Cane. Sugar Cane's elimination during week 10 was very unexpected. Sugar Cane, parting is such sweet sorrow. Banji may have slayed the Mary J. Blige lip sync, but many fans were convinced Suga shouldn't have been in the bottom two that week to begin with. First of all, it was a group challenge, and her team was even declared the better of the two. Secondly, it almost seemed as if the judges were grasping at straws to come up with negative critiques. You weren't bad, but you paled in comparison. The consensus among viewers seemed to be that Suga was sacrificed to keep bigger personalities around. Perhaps the judges felt she may have plateaued, but viewers fell in love with Suga and her positive attitude. Her elimination just cemented her place among many other robbed goddesses of the franchise. Remember, Suga is so sweet. And I'll see you real soon. Number 16, Chanel. Chanel broke a lot of molds on Drag Race's first season. Before her, no queen on the show had lost or removed a wig during a lip sync for your life. She was also the first contestant to severely clap back at the judges. Since day one, I have been judged really hard, and I'm very frustrated that you can't see the personality. She felt that her drag and her beauty were not being fully appreciated, and she let them know that she was tired of the critiques she was receiving and was ready to go home. She ultimately got her wish after lip syncing against Rebecca Glasscock. Thank you, Chanel. No problem, thank you. No sachet away. 
fans remain somewhat divided on this one. Some think she was a diva, and others believe she was right to call out the judging. One thing's for sure, her elimination still generates discussion today. I already won. Number 15, Bimini Bonboulash. Many fans nearly threw their tea and crumpets across the room when four-time challenge winner, viral sensation, and fan favorite Bimini lost the Drag Race UK crown. Lawrence Cheney. That's not to say season two's winner, Lawrence Cheney, didn't have a fabulous run. She was truly great. However, some felt that the high-energy Bimini had more memorable moments and a more consistent record in the post-COVID shutdown portion of the season than others. Needless to say, we can add Bimini to the growing pile of robbed goddesses. And UK hun to the list of best drag race songs. Love yourself, say that again. Number 14, Angina. Few queens from those early seasons won as many hearts as Angina. Halfway through season one, the fifth place finisher tearfully revealed her HIV positive status on the main stage and was lauded for her bravery. Angina, you are an inspiration. <laughs> Thank you. However, the next week, she became one of the few contestants to be eliminated after winning the previous episode. The lip sync was so close that Rue had to excuse herself to deliberate. But ultimately, Angina was sent home over Bibi Zahara Benet, who ended up winning the season. <laughs> for years afterward, fans would clamor for Angina to come back for an All-Star season. It took a while, but she finally returned for All-Stars 5. So you all thought I'd never get here. Sorry, I was stuck in traffic. Number 13, Valentina. Rue said it herself. Valentina had everything it took to win. But her ill-fated Lip Sync for Your Life performance during season 9's ninth episode, where she refused to take off her mask, changed things. Take that thing off of your mouth. I'd like to keep it on, please. Once she did take it off, it became obvious that she hadn't learned the track's lyrics. At that point, we all probably realized she'd be going home. But that didn't stop the whole thing from becoming one of the season's most upsetting shockers. Now, sashay away. Thank you. Given how her narrative had unfolded, it didn't seem like anyone, least of all the judges, thought her story would end that way. Her fans were particularly angry about the elimination, with some taking it too far. I don't approve that, and I hope you guys know that. Number 12, Trixie Mattel. Even without the benefit of hindsight, Trixie Mattel's elimination during week four of RuPaul's Drag Race season seven was unexpected. Keep on dreaming and keep them laughing. Now, sashay away. Thank you. From her entrance to her now iconic makeup, she earned scores of fans right away. But when she went home after lip syncing against Pearl, people were confused. Pearl is, of course, extremely talented, but let's just say the results did not reflect what many thought should have happened. She's showing some camp, she's showing some dance moves, she's working the runway, and I'm enjoying Trixie's performance. Luckily, Trixie returned for another shot. She would improve her placement in the season from 11th to 6th, and later won All-Stars 3. Trixie Mattel. You're so beyond. You're a winner, baby. You're Fans were clearly right to see something there. Trixie has gone on to become one of the most successful queens to come out of RuPaul's Drag Race. I know you guys are looking for somebody who can carry a legacy as an All-Star. I feel like I've been carrying that legacy since I left the first time, so this means a lot. Thank you very much. Number 11, Benda La Creme. Both of Benda La Creme's exits have been gag-worthy. We'll never see White out the same way after her self-elimination in All-Stars 3. I'm going home. What? But unlike robbing herself from going forward in the competition, in season six, she was arguably robbed by Rue. The season provided plenty of shady moments, most notably between Darian Lake and Ben De La Creme, that all came to a head in this dramatic lip sync for your life. Many fans agreed that Darian's droopy and unflattering topaz gown should have automatically secured Dela her place in the competition. As Marilyn, you poo poo be duped. But on the runway, your eleganza just drooped. After an insanely close lip sync battle, audiences were shocked when Rue chose to send Dela home, who had placed high five times over the competition. Girl, I love you, and I expect great things from you. 
because the cream always rises to the top. Number 10, Nina West. Ladies, I've made my decision. Meh. Viewers fell in love with Nina West in season 11. She was kind, creative, and hilarious, and seemed to really want to improve from week to week. That's why some fans could not forgive Rue when she chose to send her home over Silky Nutmeg Ganache after an infamously meh lip sync to TLC's No Scrubs. Nia looks like a little Christmas bear that you press the button, they move like this. Audiences thought this was the end of Silky Stint when they saw her almost trip over a piece of falling costume, show off her undergarments, and give us a lazy wig reveal. Granted, Nina didn't give the best performance either, but she managed to keep her composure and understand the energy of the song, which should have landed her the win in many fans' eyes. Silky Nutmeg Ganache. Shantae, you stay. Number 9. Pangina Heels. In a season of unpopular and shocking eliminations, this one really hurt. Pangina Heels. Listen to me. You are and will always be a global phenomenon. Pangina Heels was not just a contestant on UK vs. The World. She was true royalty, having co-hosted the international spin-off Drag Race Thailand. At the time she was eliminated, she had also won two of the four main challenges so far. When Blue Hydrangea pulled her lipstick, Pangina could barely keep it together. Pangina. <sighs> Sometimes when a queen cries on the runway, fans aren't as empathetic as they could be. But in Pangina's case, we were crying right along with her. She went into the competition with her entire country on her shoulders, and her disappointment seemed to feel so much bigger because of it. I want to say thank you, everyone, and I love you, Thailand. Number 8. Shea Coulee Season 9 saw the birth of a brand new twist on Drag Race, the lip sync for the crown. For the first time in Drag Race history, to win, you will have to survive a lip sync smackdown for the crown. Whereas track records used to be taken into account, winners were now chosen solely based on who could pull out the best lip syncs in the top four finale. BFFs Shea Coulee and Sasha Velour both had impeccable track records, so viewers assumed they would take first and second place, with superstar Shea more likely to nap the top spot. However, this contentious twist saw the frontrunners battle it out in the finale's first lip sync, meaning Shea couldn't even play second despite her incredible run. Sasha's rose petal extravaganza was the clear winner, but audiences have been left thinking what if to this day. Sasha Velour, Shantae Yuste. Number 7. Raven. Raven has been one of the most recognizable faces of Drag Race since her first appearance back on season 2, when her talent, wit, and honesty made her an instant fan favorite. You didn't bring a purse or nothing? I don't carry a purse. I stick it all on my tits. <laughs> so when she just lost out on the crown to Tyra Sanchez, some fans couldn't help but shout robbed at their TV screens. Tyra Sanchez. In the years after the show, Raven's success continued to grow, leaving fans desperate to see her get the crown when she returned for the first All-Star season. I've got a sassy attitude, wit, humor. I am an All-Star. However, viewers were left with a case of deja vu when Raven once again placed runner-up to winner Chad Michaels, earning her the title of Queen of Runner-Ups and leaving another bunch of fans angry at Rue's decision. Chad Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> Number 6. Latrice Royale. Large and in charge, chunky yet funky, the bold and the beautiful, it's Latrice Royale. Latrice made a huge impression on fans when she first appeared on RuPaul's Drag Race. Latrice, can you take us to church? Whoa, Jesus is a biscuit. She was a hilarious and talented queen who took us to church with every lip sync performance and gave us some of the most iconic Drag Race quotes of all time. Get those nuts away from my face. <laughs> I was really tapping into some serious acting skills there because Marge doesn't like nuts, but Latrice does. <laughs> so it was only natural that viewers wept when she just missed out on a top three spot on season four. You have changed the world of drag forever. I love you and respect you so much. And thank you for seeing something special in me. 
She gave a tear-jerking speech before sashaying away in one of the most emotional exits of all time, securing her position as the most dearly beloved Drag Race alumni, a reputation that stayed with her years later on All Stars 4. I always my bad one, so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Number 5. Katya Absurdly funny, lovable weirdo Katya became an instant fan favorite on season 7, and it was clear to see why. Is this Russia? With love. My name is Ekaterina Petrovna Zamochkova, but you can call me Katya. She had a pretty great track record during the season, gave us tons of iconic moments, and her struggles with substance use disorder and anxiety pulled on the heartstrings of many viewers who could relate. I didn't realize, like, how badly I've... I've actually never been able to love myself. It's okay, like... People. So, of course, fans were devastated when Katya came in fifth place. The judges failed to find the fashion in her Hello Kitty-inspired eleganza, and she narrowly lost out to lip-sync assassin Kennedy Davenport. When Alaska earned her crown in All Stars 2, we would have equally loved to see Katya in the Drag Race Hall of Fame. I should be America's Next Drag Superstar because I'm the complex female character. I have the passion to do something different and disturbing and challenging. Number 4. Alyssa Edwards Alyssa Edwards was indeed a lovely fourth runner-up on All Stars 2, but that wasn't good enough for fans. Well, now was a lovely fourth runner-up. <laughs> Our favorite tongue-popping queen made a huge impression on audiences ever since season 5, but was truly robbed in All Stars 2, where friendships and alliances trumped fair competition. If y'all send me home, it was rigged. <laughs> <laughs> Rigor Morris, girl! It was Rigor Morris, girl! Mor who's Morris? Season 5 click where Laska Talks appeared once again on All Stars 2, where the controversial Lip Sync for Your Legacy twist was first introduced. This twist saw challenge winners send home one of the lowest-placing queens each week. So, when Detox chose to send Alyssa home over Relaska Talk's bestie Roxy, who had placed bottom five times, it was understandable that viewers, and even Rue herself, gasped with indignation. It shows Alyssa, I'm sorry, I can't send her okay. home. I'm so sorry. But I just couldn't send Roxy home today because she's been so amazing. And I just... Number 3. Tatiana Tatiana first graced our screens back on season two, so viewers were happy to see her make a comeback on All Stars 2. Thank you! She proved to the world that she was more than just a pretty queen, and floored audiences from episode one with her iconic Same Parts performance. The Same Parts. <laughs> She and fellow robbed queen Alyssa Edwards also provided us with one of the most legendary lip sync battles of all time with Shut Up and Drive. Come on, bitch, see me with them hands. <laughs> see me with them hands. His back on the wall. However, her run was brought to an end when Relaska Talk struck once again. Alaska chose to save a struggling Roxy, admitting it was because she had lent her a shirt and sent Tatiana home. The queen that I have chosen. Is Tatiana. In the words of Tatiana herself, We all make choices, but that was a choice. Number 2. Shangela After making waves on season 2 and 3, Shangela came out of the box one last time for All Stars 3. Looks like the box got an upgrade and so did I. Hallelujah, I'm back, bitches! She was a strong competitor, giving us side splitting lip syncs and brilliant challenge wins. Oh, you thought that was it? Catch the verse. Hold on, wait, let me get this. Fans thought the win was hers until another twist was thrown in that saw eliminated queens brought back to decide who would make it to the top two. Although Trixie's win was deserved, audiences were angry that this twist seemed to make no sense. Unfortunately, disturbing allegations that have since surfaced against Shangela paint the situation in a different light. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Manila Luzon The lip sync for your legacy curse struck once again with Manila Luzon in All Stars 4. She was a runner up on season 3 and competed again as a team in All Stars 1, so fans were thrilled to see her return for another shot at the crown. And girl, she came to work. Manila slayed in the competition, 
proving that she had perfected her drag aesthetics in season three and had built on her other talents too. However, her time was up when challenge winner Naomi Smalls had the power to eliminate a fellow queen and chose to send home her strongest competition. God, I seriously love you so much and I look up to you so much. In one of the most dramatic eliminations to date, Manila was sent packing and the internet was sent into overdrive. I'm so sorry that I have to send home Manila. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.